Hello, very good morning. This is Dr. A. Periya Swami, Assistant Professor of English, PG Department of English, Don Bosco College, Elegar Hills. Now let us see the introduction to literary criticism. So basically what is literary criticism? Literary criticism is a study, discussion, evaluation and interpretation of literature. Literary criticism is also an evaluation of literary works. This include the classification by genre, analysis of structure and judgment of the value. Literary criticism also asks what literature is, what it does and what it is worth. So in general, literary criticism is the expression of disapproval of someone or something on the basis of perceived fault or mistakes. In literary terms, criticism is the analysis and judgment of the merit and faults of literary works that has been in the arena of works. So Socrates, one of the greatest philosopher, he has said that life, the life which is unexamined is not worth living. The life which is unexamined is not worth living. So taking this stance, talking about experience involves the search for meaning which increases our understanding of them. Every work of art must undergo an examination which is what called as criticism in order to reveal the, the worth of the work, in order to reveal who the critic is. So literary criticism is a work that is disciplined activity that attempts to describe, study, analyze, analyze certain thing, work of art, justify, interpret and evaluate work of literature. Anyone who attempts to evaluate text in this fashion can be considered as a literary critic, in other words judge of literature. So to explain in more detail, literary criticism helps us to understand what the what is important about the text, whether it is structure with structure or its context in the in a context in the sense social, economic context or historical context, what it is written about, how the text manipulates the reader. So these are the certain things that would explain the things. What do you gain out of criticism? When some work is criticized, what do we gain? Literary criticism helps us to understand the relationship between the author, reader and the text. How these three are interlinked. How author, reader and text are interlinked. By the end of literary criticism, the reader or the critic ultimately enhances the enjoyment of reading the literary work. And there is a certain questions that would come up. Does the text have only one correct meaning? Must a reader learn something from every text that he learns? Can a text be read only for enjoyment? Does a text affect a reader in the same way as other text does? So these are the main questions that would come up when you try to criticize a work of art. So what is the main function of literary criticism? What does it do? As a whole, literary criticism has two functions that would do. To analyze, to study and evaluate the work of literature, any work of art, art form. To form general principles for the examination of works of literature. So as a whole, these are the two important functions that a literary criticism would do to a text. Thank you.